Hi everyone, welcome back to Biobuddy and in this video we will be moving forward with part 3 that is we will be moving on with the germ layers right so we had started with the basis of classification in video number 2 and video number 1 we had done the classification right so now in the upcoming videos we will be focusing on each and every basis of classification Right? So make sure Peter, all of you have seen the first and the second video before you are watching this one. right? Because in this video we will be moving forward with the germ layer basis of classification. That's how are we classifying organisms? right? How are we classifying the organisms in the kingdom Animalia on the basis of germ layers? right? So germ layers Peter, they are formed at the time of what? The development. Right? Development ke time pe, under ke side ya bahar ke side, ek layers ke formation hoti hai. Different, different layers are formed. So, those layers are known as germ layers. Right? First, let me tell you a process of fertilization. So, what is fertilization? You must have seen fertilization, you must have heard this term so much. Fertilization happens when the sperm fuses with the ovum. And it leads to the formation of zygote. Right? Now what happens? This zygote, it further develops. Right? It further matures. So this zygote will move to a two-celled stage. From this two-celled stage, it will move to a four-celled stage. From four-celled, it will be coming to eight-celled stage. Then it will come to blastula stage. And later on, it will come to the gastrula phase. So, out of all these phases, gastrula phase is the phase in which the germ layer formation starts. Okay? So, you will write here, it forms in the gastrula stage. Fine? Gastrula stage. Right? So, now... What happens is better. In this process, the germ layers are being formed. Now you will say, Mom, how many germ layers are there? So better, these organisms, these are basically classified only into two groups. Okay? These are classified only into two groups. As you all know now, that in the gastrula stage only, the germ layers are being formed. But you will say, Mom, how many germ layers are there? Better, there are total three germ layers. Okay? But on the basis of germ layers, right, they can be 3 also, they can be 2 also, okay. So, they are basically divided into 2 groups. What are the 2 groups? 2 groups are diploblastic and triploblastic, okay. Diploblastic, diploblastic organism and triploblastic organism. Okay? So, diploblastic organism means now, in biology, I told you what you have to do? You have to break up a particular term into two parts. So, here diploblastic means die. Die means two. So, that means it has two germ layers. It has two germ layers. Whereas triplo means three. Tri means three. So it has three germ layers. It has three germ layers. Now what are the names of these layers? Okay. So what are the names? Now first layer will be ectoderm. Ectoderm. Then comes endoderm. Right? So, ectoderm. Ecto means outer. So, it is the outermost germ layer. Outermost germ layer. Whereas, endo means, sorry. Yes, endo means it is the innermost. Endo means in. Innermost germ layer. Okay? So, ectoderm and endoderm, these two germ layers are common in both of them. 
Diploblastic also has these two ones and triploblastic also has these two ones, right? But the third layer is mesoglia. Mesoglia. Okay, so mesoglia beta is a jelly like structure. What is it? It is a jelly like structure and it is a non cellular layer. It is a non cellular layer. Whereas the ectoderm and the endoderm, both of them. These are the cellular layers. These are the cellular layers. So this is the picture that I have drawn for diploblastic organisms. Right? So the black portion, the outermost portion is the ectoderm. Right? It is a cellular layer. Then the middlemost portion is the endoderm. It is the innermost germ layer. In between, they have the jelly-like structure, right? This jelly-like structure, but it is a non-cellular layer. That means there is no division shown here. There are no cells present. It's just jelly-like structure. So that is why the functional layer, that means the most on the basis of how many cellular layers are present inside it, they are divided into two groups, diploblastic and triploblastic. So diplo means Two cellular germ layers and one what? Jelly-like structure, a non-cellular layer. So this center portion is known as mesoglia, right? So mesoglia is a jelly-like structure. It is a non-cellular layer, right? Whereas, now if we compare, now I've not written the names down below. This is the diploblastic. This is the diploblastic. And this one is the triploblastic. Now what happens in triploblastic beta? Triplo means three. So that means there are three germ layers and three cellular layers are there. First one is again ectoderm. Innermost is endoderm. But the middle portion is changed here. The middle portion is mesoderm. Right? So mesoderm here again, it is a cellular layer like the ectoderm and the endoderm. Okay, but what happened in diploblastic, the mesoglia layer which is present in the center, this mesoglia layer is a non-cellular layer. That means it is not having any cell, it is just having the jelly part. Okay, so this is the mesoglia in diploblastic, only two cellular layers are there, that is ectoderm and endoderm, whereas if you compare triploblastic with it, triploblastic has Three cellular layers. That means meso, uh, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. Mesoderm here is also a functional layer. It is also a cellular layer. Okay. Now examples of diploblastic will be coelentrata and tenophora. Coelentrata and tenophora. Other name of coelentrata, I ask you this in every video, it is the Nidaria. Nidaria. Now, triploblastic was first observed in platyhelminths. Okay, so example of triploblastic will be platyhelminths. And this is very important from me point of view that triploblastic was first seen in which organism or which phylum you will say it was seen first in platy helminths okay but this is very important for me point of view note this down that first where it was observed the triploblastic layer it was observed in platy helminths fine so now in this video this is all uh, this is all we've got this is all we'll be focusing on and in the next video we'll be moving forward with body plan coelom symmetry segmentation and notochord Right? So any doubt regarding this video beta, any problem, any doubts regarding any suggestions, you can comment down below. Right? And do not share, like, share and subscribe. Share it as much as possible with your friends. Might be helpful. Right? So stay tuned for the next video. Until then, take care.